Yeah, this is exciting. This is really exciting for myself and my family. Um, as uh, they were introduced, uh, I, I first of all, I got a lot of thank yous and, and people I want to uh, show some appreciation to. But uh, Nicole, Alexis, Avery, um, you know, this journey that we're on called life, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's special. And, you know, special days like this are the ones that we're never going to forget. And uh, I can't thank them enough for their support, uh, their love. They're the ones that allow me to each and every day leave the house, uh, go to work, and give everything I have to my, our players, our staff, um, to help us be the best we can be. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to thank uh, Greg. Um, I know this is happening fast, and I, I just can't say enough about the, the trust uh, that you have in me and how much I appreciate that. Uh, it means so much. Um, we had never met. We had never met, you know, and, uh, you know, to, to do your due diligence and all of that and uh, go through the process, um, you know, I really appreciate it. And I just, uh, I'm so excited to lock arms with you as I am, the rest of the athletic department, all the head coaches here, and uh, continue to build on the great tradition of Alabama athletics as a whole. You know, so many championships, so many great coaches I cannot wait to meet. Um, we're going to continue to strive to make this thing better all together. Um, President Bell and uh, Chancellor St. John, appreciate you guys as well. Looking forward to building this university together. And uh, it's special. And uh, thanks for this opportunity. Um, I could go on and on about the next person I need to thank, show appreciation to, love, and you all know who that is, and Coach Saban. Uh, we just talked for the first time yesterday. And uh, I've been his ear a couple times already here. And, man, I can just feel in his voice. Um, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen it for many years. Um, you know, this place is special. It's special to him, but it's special to all of you because he's what he, he's built it up to be. Um, it's not just about the championships. I, meet with the, I met with the team last night and heard from them and heard why they came here. Okay, a lot of great reasons, all tied to the Alabama brand, the education, um, playing here, you know, each and every Saturday, and uh, the support that they, they get. But obviously there was a, a major piece of that where they came here because Coach Saban and uh, Miss Terry, you know, poured everything into them, and they, they just saw the vision and wanted to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege um, to be to be chosen to be in this role it's one I don't take lightly um, and I know that coach Saban's been working hard to make sure that this program is in a great spot for the next person to take over I think there's he hasn't told me this but I think there's an intentionality um, that's been in place you know you kind of figure out um, I don't want to put words in his mouth but I think you kind of know at some point you don't know when that point is but you want to make sure it's in a great place and as you can see just from this past season um, it's in a great place. And being in a room last night where, you know, I saw a team that has stuck together. Greg talked about 72 hours, okay? I want you to put yourself in those guys' shoes, okay? The legendary coach, okay, that they came to play for, all right? And now what's next? And I can't tell you how much I appreciate them already. And I've had multiple meetings last night today with them individually, leadership groups. I, I know how badly they want to continue the tradition, how they want to do it the right way. And them just getting to know me here in just a few hours, it's been a blast. And I can't wait for the journey that lies ahead. But Coach Saban, thank you for all you've done, um, for laying the foundation for myself this, and the rest of this uh, staff that we'll hire and these players to continue to build on everything you've, you've done here. So thank you. He's the best in the business to ever do it. I'm just, I'm just going to make sure that's all known, that that's how I feel. And 100% uh, access, okay, to everything. I would be a fool if that wasn't the case. I would be a fool. And uh, I'm going to ask him that he uh, shows up and make sure he gives me at least one thing every day. I'm sure he's going to have 10. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be good with that. But uh, at least one thing that he sees uh, that we can get better at. And so... Um, I also think it's, it's so important to understand that uh, 
most programs don't just have, they, they don't even have one legend, right? Uh, that, that's in their program or have come through, through the years. And we have probably more than two if you really want to talk about it, but uh, Coach Bryant, right? And when I talked to Coach Saban yesterday, he spoke of that. And, you know, that just right there told me um, just how humble uh, he is and how grateful he has been to follow in someone else's shoes and continue to build on what we have here at Alabama. Um, you know, I have so many mentors that have helped me get to this spot. I'm not going to get into it, uh, but every play or every coach that I've sat in a film room with, uh, a staff room, when I was an assistant, when I've been a head coach, the head coaches I've worked for, uh, I just, they, they hold such a, a strong spot in my heart because they've all helped me get to the place where I'm at today. And uh, I'll get into the players and what I want to see out of them and how we want them to grow uh, while they're here at Alabama. But I also want to make sure that the coaches that I continue to have the privilege to work with each and every day, each and every year, that they understand the commitment I have to them to help them meet their aspirations and goals. Many of them want to be coordinators, many of them want to be head coaches, and I'm looking forward to that journey for them. Um, when, I think, when I think about different words, and I'll have a few here that I'll, I'll, I'll bring to you, one of them's embrace. And I think you get the sense that embracing the tradition and embracing um, the athletic department um, is something that's very special to me. I also want you to know that you as a community, everyone here, I can't wait for my family and I to embrace you and, uh, you know, feel that same thing uh, back to us. I know that that will be the case. I don't have to look much past last night when we flew in and the welcome and the reception that was there. Um, it was it was so awesome. It was not overwhelming, but uh, it was very close to it. And uh, I appreciate that. I also, I think, want to make sure our alumni know that I'll embrace them and that this will always be their place, this will always be their home. I know that uh, so many have gone through and played for Coach Saban, and uh, that should not change as far as how they feel about this place. And we need you. And, uh, you know, the investment hours that have been put in by me compared to what has made this place what it is, um, for me, it's very little. And uh, I want to learn the stories. I want to learn all the great moments. Um, I know many of them. I've watched from afar. But I know there's so many behind the scenes and things that are just important to the tradition and the alumni and can't wait to have you here and uh, hear all your great stories um, along the way. But, um, you know, I just want to reiterate my excitement. And, you know, people ask, I've already asked, like, why would you go to Alabama? Why? Well, I think there's a lot of really obvious answers, right? And I've touched on that. When it comes to tradition and the history of the program, it's second to none. Okay, And when I look at a places that I want to be, it's about winning championships. And that's an expectation that I cannot wait um, and accept as a privilege to try to uphold winning SEC championships, winning national championships. That's an expectation and a love and an interest that I've always had and a passion that I'll have and looking forward to carry on with our players, our staff, and all of you here um, as, we go through, as we go through these uh, years ahead. The resources, the facilities, everything that can be here to support our, our players, our staff. That's my role as a head coach is to provide that atmosphere, that environment. And when you have resources like we have here at Alabama, it makes my job easier. Okay, And uh, looking forward to, to uh, utilizing and showing off <laughs> these resources to the, those that want to be uh, wearing the crimson. Um, a belief of mine when it comes to just athletics is that it brings people together. Again, last night, right? People coming together and in a much bigger fashion in this, uh, in this beautiful stadium here behind you. Um, bringing people together, bringing a community together. Uh, I'm learning about the enrollment of the university and how it's grown, you know? And that's, I know, a credit to what the football program but, has done, but also to uh, everyone else, you know, buying into the philosophical beliefs of uh, this great university. But um, when it comes to, to, you know, bringing people together, that is a passion of mine. Um, there's something special about, you know, being a head coach and the investment that goes into trying to make all the different pieces fit 
having the right people in those places. And these facilities are awesome, but it's the people that make the place special. It truly is. And I felt that, and I've heard that from Greg as we talk, um, that you here, you all, um, you have made this special. And it's not just about these beautiful resources, these beautiful facilities. So I'm looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. I think alignment is important. So when we're talking about you know, why Alabama, alignment from president on through to Greg, to the head coach, and on down, I just think that the alignment and you know, just everything that we're all trying to accomplish together in locking arms and, and uh, fighting the same fight that we all want and, and knowing that uh, our passions um, are all the same, uh, that alignment is critical. And the programs and universities and all the, the, the different uh, sport teams that have success, there's usually some sort of alignment. And uh, we certainly have that here on a very strong level at Alabama. I'm 100% convinced of that. When it comes to our goals, I shared with you it's to win the SEC in a national championship. But how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with class. We're going to do it with integrity, okay, with academic ex excellence. And um, that is... Uh, my job to make sure we uphold the standard that has been set here at Alabama uh, and continue to build on that. When it's, uh, when it's about winning, um, you know, it's also about a culture. And I will share with our guys that as we already have here a culture that is contagious, and you'll hear me say that many times, I cannot wait to add to that, continue to make it to where you can feel through the TV screen when someone's watching a game how hard our guys play and how much they love each other and care for each other and how badly they want to win for all of you. And, you know, the culture will be contagious and more and more people, just as it's been, will want to continue to be a part of this. And the last piece uh, when it comes to developing players athletically, academically, socially, and even spiritually, okay, and that being our focus as a staff, we, in the end, want to make sure that we're building better men. We want to build better men because someday, okay, football will be over, okay? Someday, real life will hit you in the face. And building better men and this time that we're going through, this phase in their life, it is one of the most influential that they will have. And it is, it is a privilege, it is an honor to be someone in a position that can have that influence. And I don't take that like, lightly, and I will surround myself with a staff that will be great husbands, great fathers, great people, provide a template for our great players that come through here to understand what it looks like to be a man. And uh, that's an awesome goal. Our staff will have a lot of uh, tributes and, and qualities, um, and that will definitely be one of them. And so, um, you know, developing athletically, academically, socially, and spiritually. What's next? Uh, you know, as we build our team, uh, last night, just got to hear from some guys. Uh, wasn't a lot of questions, uh, especially as a whole team, but, you know, you break off into the little segments, and then, then, they, then they start talking, and, uh, and that's what I want to hear. I want to hear what makes this place special. Um, I want to hear about the traditions that I'm unaware of. I want to hear about all the things that, that really matter to them and uh, ingrain myself into what's been special about Alabama football. But it all starts with the relationships and communication, which builds the trust that we must have to step on the football field with great chemistry, as you've seen years upon years upon years, okay? It isn't just about talent. Talent gets you a long ways, but the championship teams have something special. They have that it factor. And the relationships that we will build will help us have an accountability for each other. Okay, accountability to ourselves, accountability from coach to coach, coach to player, player to player, player to coach. We'll also form a brotherhood, a brotherhood that is so tight okay, that anything that comes our way will not break us. And we'll be tough. And we call these our three non-negotiables that we will stand by and the toughness piece. It's not just physical, okay, which is what Alabama pro football prides itself on. It will also be mental. Mental toughness, understanding how to handle adversity, because we understand the challenge that it takes to win a national championship. We understand that it's not easy. It never is, but anything worth anything at all is hard. And we're looking forward to that journey and to those, uh, to those uh, challenges. When it comes to a style of football, 
Um, I, don't, I don't know what you've seen about how we've played, but obviously playing hard um, is, a, is a big piece of it. But what we try to do, it's always going to be around our personnel. It's, it's always, yes, we're going to recruit the best, the, the highest character guys, but we're going to be able to have, have uh, concepts and systems that are, are able to be adjusted uh, to what we have and what our strengths are. Um, as much as we have great players at every position, there are some positions that are stronger than others from year to year. And we will be explosive. I can promise you that. We will be aggressive. We will attack. And, um, you know, we understand that the game was meant to be play played one way still, and that's to be physical and dominate in the line of scrimmage and control it from both sides of the ball will always be a staple of our program. And as we go through, as we go through utilizing our personnel and having a dominant offense and defense along with fundamental, fundamental special teams, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy coming to games and seeing how we play and enjoying, you know, wanting to, to come in and, and uh, you know, cheer on and, and understand that the guys that are wearing those helmets, um, they have a lot of talent, but they're really special people and uh, pouring everything they can into it. When it comes to recruiting, and I can go on and on um, about how we will recruit, um, it is, I understand it's the lifeblood of our program. I and mean, we can have great coaches, but the guys on the field are the ones that make the place. And a relentless attitude starting with, first and foremost, myself, and our, then leading to our staff, it's what it's going to take um, to be the best of the best here with tough competition here in the SEC and to win a national championship. I'm looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and uh, going to work. And I want to say one more thing um, because this is something that's very important to me and I wanted to say it last um, because I knew I might get emotional. I'm not sure, but I need to thank some people, okay, back at Washington. And it's a special place to me. It really is. And this was one of the few places, maybe the only place that I would have ever left to come coach at because I understand what Alabama football is all about and those those guys that I sat in front of a room yesterday I know what they're going through because I saw the same thing less than 24 hours ago and I just I just want to tell everyone because I know they're they're watching I just want to tell you guys I love you I will miss you and um, you know I want nothing but the best for everyone back there. And uh, the journey of the last two years have been special. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the new journey that lies ahead. I'm looking for those new challenges here. Cannot wait, like I said, to roll up my sleeves with all of you, with our team, okay, and go to battle each and every day, each and every, each and every week, each and every year. So thank you and roll tide.